Well, tonight's dinner is gonna be an absolute corker. It is a sausage and baked bean pie. How can you go wrong with that? You gotta love sausages, you gotta love baked beans, and you gotta love pie. So you're only gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need some sausages. The best quality sausages are the ones that don't have heaps and heaps of fat content. You want them to be fairly lean. So these ones here are lamb and rosemary from our friends at Our Cow. So, what we're gonna need is, we're gonna need an onion, we're gonna need some cheese, and we're gonna need some baked beans. And of course, we're gonna need some puff pastry. And we're pretty much just gonna get started by cooking up or browning up these sausages. And what we wanna do is actually keep this at a fairly low heat. We don't wanna brown the sausages up too much. We don't wanna burn them, we just wanna slightly brown them. All right, the next step is to get started on our mixture. We're gonna go with a nice big can of baked beans in there. So we're just gonna cut up a bit of onion to go in there as well. Nothing too technical about this dish. It's kind of a one pot wonder, which is what you want when you're out camping. And the next one, we're gonna go for a bit of cheese and we'll throw some herbs. Now, you much throw in whatever you've got. A bit of parsley, oregano, that works. I've got some oregano and garlic here. I'll just mix that around. And I'm thinking those sausages should be ready to go. Perfect. All right, I'm just gonna chop them up just into chunks. Little bite-sized chunks. Throw them in there as well. And we're just gonna mix this all around, just like so. I'm gonna get the baked beans right through it all. Now, we're actually gonna cook this in the Weber here tonight. We could cook it on the fire in the camp oven, that tastes good too, but the Weber, it's just so easy. I've got a pan here. I'm gonna grab a bit of parchment paper. Here's a hot tip for you. Scrunch the parchment paper up before you try and put it in here. Next step, we're gonna get our puff pastry. One big tray, there we go, pop that in. Doesn't quite look fancy, but let's face it, camp tucker never does. All right, now we're just gonna pop our fill in inside, and we'll throw a bit of pastry on top as well. Now all we want to do is just gently squeeze the two edges together so it seals it up a bit. Like any pastry, a good egg wash goes a long way, so get it absolutely everywhere you can, in those little grooves, and this is going to really help it brown up. All right, all that's left to do now, get rid of these sausages, pop them to the side, and we'll pop this straight in. Now. The idea here is to keep it actually fairly low temperature, so you don't want to burn it from the bottom. But if all goes well, which it will, it should take about 40 minutes. I'll go grab a cold one and come back to it. All right, so it's been about 40, 45 minutes, and the pie is done. It is looking absolutely unreal. And there you have it. That is a sausage and baked bean pie with plenty of cheese as well. I think we're going to be eating pretty well tonight. And if you want to eat well, make sure you jump on the website and check out the recipe.